floor too. Another hard oh. water, sun. And these ladies are sun worshipers. I thought it was sun, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm, this is a great segment for this, for fingers and all that. So, so we're in tone right now, and we're talking about fadeage and all that kind of stuff, right? And and I know this you're a salon owner, right? Who else is a salon owner? You're a salon owner, you're a salon owner, okay, I'm a salon owner. So when I first got this, I put it right in the bottom cabinet. I got it all the time. I use it all the time. I said, okay, I said I'm never gonna, I'm not using it. I'm not using it, I don't believe in it, I'm not using it. You know, I'm I'm that guy. I don't know how I'm, I'm an educator. No, why did you why did you say that? Because I just thought it was a company trying to sell me something. Mm -hmm. And I said, why do I need that? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, as an owner, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, as, a, as I became an educator with them and realized what this really does, um, not one client comes in without it and they don't leave without it. Ever, 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 ever. It's a game changer. So. You know, they always say the old, the old thing is you lose a client on their third visit. You, you lose a new client on their third visit. First time a client comes in, what do we do? We sit them down in the chair, we're so excited, we have a new client, we do a consultation, right? Then we do the work, they leave. The second time you see them come in again, you're like, oh my God, she's back. You sit down again, you talk to them for a second. The third time you're like, oh, you can still get Drake Mary or you can get Wash Mary. You, you really don't spend any time with it's just, I don't know, I'm not saying everybody does yeah. that, but yeah. what we do is where we become automatic. Yeah. We just become automatic. And then, you know, they feel that. You know what I'm saying? You should always sit your client down for at least, even if it's 30 seconds. How's your hair doing? How's this? How's the kids? Whatever. You know, whatever you want to talk about, then get them started. I always spray color prime on the hair. Color prime is like my analogy is if you're driving down the road and there's potholes in the road, right? This is what happens, right? But then the guy comes and he fills it and now it's nice, right? Well, everybody has potholes in their hair. I don't know if you've ever done a low light and you opened it up and it looks like there's spots in there because there's potholes. <laughs> this makes the hair now on an even canvas. It's perfect. So what I do to my clients, every client that comes in, if I don't do it, my assistant does it. They get draped and I spray this and I prep their hair. So now I'm giving them kind of like a little spa treatment for their hair and I explain to them, listen, I'm getting your hair ready. I know that you go to the beach, you're in the sun, you use you know, shampoo that you don't get from here. You know, like all these different things. Because I wonder why every time they come back, the clients that listen to me and buy my shampoo hair looks so different than the ones that jump. So I always make sure when I start their hair, I put color prime on their hair. So is that the problem? I mean, what's the proper way to prep with that? So you would just take regular hair and you do three or four sprays on it, go like that, and go mix your color. Done. What's the active ingredients? Or um, what is it necessarily? This, it, has, it has a, um, there's a gentle cleanser in here. And there, it's a scalp irritant. Also, I don't know what they make it out of, but so it's almost like a spray on allergy treatment or so. It's like not an allergy treatment. It's more of a porosity equalizer, so it makes the hair all scalp too. If you have somebody with sensitive scalp, I spray that on, take the pain away immediately. Even you know how some people want that little stick and they go like this. Mm -hmm. You can just spray it right on the color. Can you add it into your color? Oh, yeah. What? Can you I don't add, add it to the color, okay. no. Nope. But I spray it on. If I have somebody that has a sensitive scalp, spray I make sure I hit their scalp good. Before it. Okay. Before it. Right. They hit it always before. Got it. I use it in the past. We can love it. You, don't need, you, you can, <laughs> but you don't need to with this. Okay. It's that good. And if I tell you when you do a low light and you open that up now, it's completely covered. Roots down. I have a client. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I have a client that she's been using Aloxy for over 30 years, longer than I've been calling on her. And she's not here today because she's been using it for so long. But she told me when, when I first started carrying it, she said, Richie, this is so important. She says, this is my insurance policy. She said, I don't have any worries. As long as I'm using this, I don't have any worries that might come up because 
of something they've done to their hair or maybe they've used something that's just causing you know problems with the hair she said this just kind of just evens everything out so it eliminates issues right and so and i'm thinking mm, mm. i took it out i dusted it i said to my staff here you go you like is that the stuff that was down there i'm like yes can you use right, too exactly. much what? Can you use too much? Can you? No, no you okay. can't use too much, but you don't need to use a lot. Okay. That bottle lasts you a long time. Okay. It's just a couple of squirts, pull through. Massage it on the Massage step. it, and that's it. It's done. Push it through. Okay. Yeah. And taking a blonde to bring that, this would be amazing. Yeah. I even use it. I know some I use it. have irritation. I use it before a character. I yes. use it I spray oh, before a okay. perm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before a perm, before a character. Or I use the, um, the blocker. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's stuff that I would really Oh, the barrier? Oh, yeah. That's the best. Yeah. I love it. It's the best. Okay, so now your takedown. This is another thing, too. When years and years ago, I'm everybody's too young here, but years and years and years ago, we never, not me, them, no, um, shampoo after color. You would just rinse it, and then the hair after 24 hours um, neutralizes itself and brings everything back down. Stops all the active ingredients. Um, equalizes the process, does everything. So we never did, and then, you know, color brands came out with shampoo, color shampoo, you need it. This one needs it, that one needs it, like, everybody says you need it. Um, so we started shampooing people. And then what started happening? Everybody would come back in the salon and they had a baby, right? Because we shampoo them. First thing they do is they shampoo their hair, right? Um, with the Loxy, we don't do shampoo. We never use shampoo. We take down, we rinse, completely clean. We do two or three pumps of color lock. You put it in the hair for the minimum of three minutes. It could stay in for an hour if you need time. You don't need conditioner, you don't need nothing. It closes everything down and you never have to, um, you never have to pull through again when they come back. If you do roots to end the first time, next time they come back, you never have to use color for the mid shaft in the end. This is the sealer. This is the best stuff in the world. I'm actually going to leave you this bottle. Oh, you have you it? Can leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Freddie, you, everyone's going home with one. <laughs> Freddie, you really cut into my bottom line here. <laughs> but wait, well, Freddie, um, what if you don't want it to lock the cone? Listen, I want that. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Job security. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Say, say. Any color one. Any color. I didn't blame it on that. We, when I do, when I do press it sometimes, some some people will take when we get into other things, take something else, but they won't take our permanent line because they're using something else, but they use this with it. Yeah, and I get more feedback on this. Sometimes in the color, they're like, that is like a game changer for me. It really is a game changer. Um, again, I never, I, in the beginning, I was just like, no, now, so as, as a salon owner, you know, this isn't cheap either. As a salon owner, I get a little, you know, upset with it, coming out with gallons. Okay. We're going to have gallons coming out, which is. What does that take a price? What? That shit is definitely not cheap. <laughs> right, so the coming out with gallons is going to bring the cost down, obviously, the more you buy, the less. Um, and it's going to be easier. It's going to be better. You know, just fill it up. And all the major color brands have something like that. Because I know if you're if you're from L'Oreal, I remember right, they have that. Post color. Yeah. Uh, everybody has something in each brand, but nobody really gets it until you get it. There are a lot of times clients say, "Well, I don't feel the suds. It's not shampooing. It's not working." You know what I'm saying? So what I tell my staff, you know, if they really want shampoo, do a light shampoo and then choose this hand. Right after it. Um, but most of them now, when you explain to them, listen, I'm prepping you and I'm, I'm saving you. Like, um, when, you, when you sit and you tell your clients, they're like, well, no, no other salon's ever done that. It's Def like a treatment. Definitely for the reds. What? Definitely for the reds. Yes. Yes. Reds definitely for the reds. Fast, and for, fast, and for fast. like you said, for your tongue, things that yeah. they come back and it washed out, this is going to make them not wash out. It's going to lock it in. It's, and the feeling of the hair is. And this is a guarantee to keep customers coming back to you because yes. 
your color is holding, whereas the competitors oh, aren't. aren't doing that. You know, it's funny you say that because, and I'm, listen, every color brand out there is great. I feel like we're the artists that make them great. So I'm not putting down any brand because I could, you know, every brand's great. Um, I've just given you knowledge of what we have, that's all. But Goldwell, for instance, because I go into a lot of Goldwell stuff, people love Goldwell, but Goldwell fades so much. And so I'm friends with some of the educators, you know, sometimes the educators from other brands, we all go out and shoot stuff around. And they say Goldwell is made to fade. <laughs> it is made to fade so the clients come back quicker and you can change your hair easier. So they do it for that reason. It's not a bad thing, it's just their thing. See, I have a, if I have a blonde that wants to go brunette, I do not like using permanent on them. And I don't even, and I know it's like against religion and hair to not boost their hair with a copper, but what I do is I'll go through with like a size in and I'll add a gold to it and then I'll go back in with like different ones. Like I'll use like a seven in a four in and then a five and then I'll add warmth into it. Nice. So, and then they're gonna fade and then if they decided they don't like it anymore, then you can change them change back to the blonde. Change it easy, right, right. Yeah, and, but that's what I do with my hair when I wanna do. But this, but you I hate hair. commitment. Like I change my suit, I do not like commitment. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> got one, you're like Oprah. Everybody <laughs> has <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Three minutes is the is the three minutes and then two. You put you can leave it if you need time, like the conditioning treatment. You can leave it. Um, but three minutes is the minimum. There are sometimes it's like a minute, but three minutes is the minimum. All right, so you should just bring the donuts so we can sleep. Easy. Tell Daddy on. So now, George sat us down and says, what's missing now? So we said, well, you know what, George? This is the next thing. Dimensions. One step lightning thing. It goes through permanent color. Okay. So, you have somebody that comes in and they have color treated hair. And they're like, I want caramel highlights. But I, you're not using lightning on me. I don't want bleach on my head. I don't want to blow it up. Blah, blah, blah. We have dimensions. We have five shades. Two of them, which is a point zero and a three one, goes right through permanent color. No way. Or we have our reds that go on your darker bases, like her. She's dark, and then we highlighted her. Well, the staff did over there. Highlighted her with our two six, and then we got our. So you don't have to now use lightener and then tone them. Because what happens when somebody comes in and they're color treated? Is this only on virgin hair? No, this is for color, hair. color treated hair. So say for instance, a color my level, how many lifts does that have? So you'll get probably four to five lifts out of it, but you're gonna get more red. Gotcha. You're gonna get red. And that you're is your color. You're gonna get red. Mm -hmm. So as, as you can see on the swatch here, It'll show you here, level seven and eight, you're gonna use the point zero or the point three one, and then levels three through six, you're gonna use the four four, the six six, or the two six. Clients comes in, they're color treated, so what happens? You highlight them, mm -hmm. their root is a beautiful white, <laughs> the mid shaft is yellow, and the, and the end is burnt orange, right? And then you're like, so you, you end up opening it up, you put more light, you're on the bottom, you want it to catch up, right? Like it's always that, that process, right? Or you start with 30 on the end, and you're up at the root, you do 20. This is one step. You highlight them, and it deposits color. This is on color-treated hair. You could use it on virgin hair too, but this is color-treated hair. But primary is gonna lift red. Anything under a level six is gonna lift red. Gotcha. Yeah, anything lighter, like her, her hair would lift to pretty much like these shades. Interesting, okay. You know what I'm saying? Can we add gems to it to sway the undertone slightly? Mm. Or like you know, you probably could. I would do it without it first, and yeah. then you could play. What we get. You know what I'm saying? But um, this, is, this is not on the scalp. 
This is only for highlighting. Could you add booster to that? In someone my color? You don't need to, you wouldn't need to. Okay, so it already yeah. has the booster in it for you. You wouldn't need to. No. 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 But this is just, I mean, it's five shades. You have it there. It's for the client that comes in. They don't want lightning in their hair. They're afraid of it, but they want something, a little piece around their face, something like that. They've been, you've been coloring their hair. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to bleach them out or lighten them. What volume of peroxide do you use at this point? I'm sorry? What volume of peroxide do you use? Oh, you would use very affordable. Okay. Yeah, on, on your sheet. Yeah. Everybody has the yeah. sheet. It does so say that you can use here, booster from one that. additional bed. How so? It does say to booster. Oh, and then on the top, okay. this is on the yeah. separate sheet. So it shows you what it will look like. Natural, mm -hmm. maybe. For hot, it's See, over here, it's going to show you what it's going to look yeah. like on darker. Oh, wow. So more. Nice, right? Really More nice. important is on someone with my depth of hair of color, if they want to have a red shade, this is more basically for reds in the dark Correct. shade. Right, because that's what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's usually, I, you know, I don't need to say this, but more, you know, it's going to be like Italian, Spanish. Oh, yes, they want that, that red or they want, you know, stuff like that. Then you could, you could use this on virgin hair also. Yeah. It's one step. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. um, it's going to lift more than color is going to lift. So this should be good for my hair. I need white, but... Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Well, so you, if, you want, if you want to be red like you have. Right, I got a few people that come in and want to be red. I, I always... Highlights only. Yeah. Highlights only. Yeah. 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 I would put this on the face. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it there. And I had to go in, so this would be better than the then, right, so you don't have to permanent color. It's going to be more vibrant than permanent color. Right. And you don't have to use light hair. You don't have to bleach them and then use a toner. Sometimes you bleach or lighten, you know, and then you use a toner and the toner fades out. They come back and it's orange yes. and stuff like that. This is like true to tone because it's color. Okay. That lifts mm -hmm. through color. Okay. So I don't know if anybody okay. knew of L'Oreal, but L'Oreal used to have something called. Um, Magic Contrast. They don't this have is anymore. their magic. No, they discontinued it, mm -hmm. and we made it. Because there is a market for it. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely a market. Okay, let's say this young lady comes in with highlights, yeah. and mm -hmm. hey, you want you know, to do like the gold lash armor and yeah, right next to the like a one group? Yeah. No, as a highlight. Not as a highlight. So yeah. How like you? Okay, you don't do blind you just Okay, not as a toner. Yeah. No, you could highlight her with this. with like the three what the three one or the point zero, and it would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's just Karen, everybody. Hi, Karen. Hello. Yeah. And yeah. so you could use it again on virgin hair, or you could use it on color treated hair. So if I made her too dark in the front, let's just say she wanted a little piece. And that front, I can use the lightest one and just pop yeah. that in there yeah. and lift and tone yeah. and give her a little bit back. Yeah. That's beautiful. I want to do yes. the highlights on the side. Right. And see, like, how just long it'll hold. Because if it's technically lifting with this, it'll probably last with potentially. Like, it's going to last like a front of color. Yeah. As long as you use color treated shampoo, it'll color wow. Yeah. 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 But it's color that lifts through color. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which is great. Rebecca Taylor. Yeah. She's a Okay. She's not. And it's one of her one stuff. Color. Yeah. Yeah. Rebecca Taylor here. Rebecca Taylor. She's in the Pensacola, Florida area. She is. She's with Olga. Is she with what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I know because we and carry that brand as well. Um, For it to lift color, what's but the she doesn't have her own color line that I know. It's, she's been using a lot of them. She came from Redken, and anytime she makes a reference of another Demi, she's really talking about it. But she doesn't say that. Could be Guy Tank. He has his own color. Yeah. yeah. I don't think 
doesn't get to a higher normal level. Yeah, it doesn't give me the amount. Of But it's good. It works. Sorry. <laughs> it's fun. That looks fun. You know, it's just something extra, again, to have a couple of tubes. It's just for that flash color that you want to do with somebody that's, you know, even somebody that just wants a little peek of a here and there. You know, that's been coloring their hair. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, like I said, you, you, you put lighter on it, their ends are so saturated. You know what I'm saying? So you put this on and it kind of breaks it up. Definitely a time saver. One time saver and a money saver. You're not using lightener and a toner. Yeah. You know, using one color. Mm -hmm. You know? So then, George said, what's missing? What is missing out of the world? And we said, you know what, George? Everybody's in a rush. Years ago, people would sit in the salons and they would want to sit there all day. And they would be mad. Right, now they don't want to sit there anymore. They want to get in, they want to get out. So we came out with Andiamo, let's go. So when Andiamo was launched, um, in the beginning it took off really well. Then it slowed down a little bit because people didn't know the timing right. They didn't know their book, how to time it. This is 10 to 15 minute permanent color. 10 to 15 wow. minutes. Permanent color. This. What? Oh, and I have this. I've been using it. Wow. Let me tell you something. This is a game changer for a couple of reasons. One, well, let me just go through. It's, it's, the client comes in, they do not have enough time. So sometimes they come in, they go, I don't have enough time to do color and cut today, or you know, something like that. No, you do. Yeah. Because this is one hour process. They come in at 12 o'clock. You get by 10 after, you're applying their color. By quarter after, they're sitting in your chair. By 12.30, you're getting rinsed out. You do your blowout, your haircut, they're out of there by one o'clock. One hour, right? Another thing, sometimes people do highlights and color at the same time. Sometimes they do it separate. If you do it separate, now you have 10 to 15 minute color. Blow them out, do your highlights, or you highlight them, you look, even if you're running behind, you highlight them, you look, they have about 10, 15 minutes left, then you apply the color that's not sitting on that scalp. Wow. Right? It's actually really good. I'm the animal quick. Over the bleach. What? Over the bleach. Over the highlight. No, no, in between. In between the highlights. When it's on, you have that flow, and then you're going to Yes. Yes. Well, that's what so, I right, because sometimes we highlight, and then now you have 35 minutes for the color, and you look in the back, so almost done, right? So what do we do, right? I've been doing the <laughs> color first, and then going through and highlighting after. After, so you can even use this for that, because now that's they're not sitting for 35 minutes. Yeah. So you save that hour, and now you're saving yes. a half hour on your client's time and your time, right? Yes. Um, so how we marketed in my salon was I did lunchtime color. So people come in at the lunchtime and get their color done. So they don't have to, you know, ruin their weekends. We did um, happy hour color. So they can come in before, right after work. They won't, they don't, they're not gonna be there for three hours. They can save their weekends. Um, or of course they can come out on weekends anyway. But it was just different things we did in our salon. Uh, a lot of times clients come in and they'll, you get them just a haircut or a blowout, and they go, look at my temples. My temples are gray, you, you know, I don't know the color, color didn't cover here. So what, a lot of times what we do is just sit in the back of the color bowl, we put it on for 10 minutes, and then they get their haircut or their blowout, and I just upcharge them, and extra yeah. 15, 20 minutes. That's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just you, like, that. you just do right here at the yeah. bowl. You know what I'm saying? So now your haircut or your, or your blowout just uh, you know, we all want that little more out ticket, right? Wow. And we want to be doing a good service to our client. You see that, right? Um, you got his um, his brain working now. The wheels, I can just no, it's just, just those little things. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 No, this is permanent. Oh, 
Okay. This is a permanent, permanent color in 10 to 15 minutes. Now, this is how I've learned. Wait, now, question. Does it pull darker than regular? Yes. Now, if you look, what does it say on there? It's a neutral, not a natural. Mm -hmm. So it neutralizes it. So I would say it's a level darker. That's what I always assume. So you have five, you're going to use a six. Yes. You have you're seven, you're going to use it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a level darker sometimes. The highest shades is probably a half a level, a darker shade It's a level darker. Yes, because it's a neutral. There's no real warmth coming out of this unless you add it. High lift blondes. Which actually, minutes. I just did mine, the three, and y'all can tell. I mean, I, I normally have highlights, but my hair is darker. It's got more pigment to it. Yes, yes. And this is the, I'm opposite. This is the. Andiama. 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 I just did it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, three. High lift blondes. Oh, I thought you saw so, 7G. How much white did you cover? Oh, I'm probably 60%, 60 white. Yeah. You can dig through because I did it by myself. And you can dig through and there's a couple spots. Right here, right here, right here. Uh, you missed a couple spots. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> since, since I've been using it for a couple of years now, 10 minutes up to 50%. Um, if somebody is more than 50 percent, I always go 20, uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. Always 15, yeah. Um, I do 20. Yeah, you can do 20. Yeah. And then high lift blondes, 20 minutes. High lift blondes. Yeah. Just like Chrome is high lift, Platinum series, these high lift here, you do in 20 minutes. That's, that's cutting like 30 minutes off of your client sitting there with high lift blondes on their head. Um, a lot of times a client wants to come in and they do want a double process. I don't know if anybody does double processes here. I will do Andiamo, high lift blonde on them, and then I go in with my light on top of that. Yeah. I get them up That's what I, yeah. to like a level the 7, 8, and, the and then I put the lightener on them. What? Are you talking the 11 and the 11 Yes. Yeah, so if somebody comes in, they want like a double process, like Gwen Stefani's hair, you know, something white yeah. like that. You have to put lightener on their scalp for an hour, right? You take it down, you put it on, you take it down, you put it on. You know, you don't want them to have, I'll use this for 20 minutes. And they, they come out like a little chicky yellow, like a little yellowish. Then I go on my lightener, and I just got to bring them up from there. Mm, gotcha. So does you it leave your hair in much better condition than it? Yes, because it has everything in it. It has the Lippy butter in it. It has turbo dye technology. So it's double the dye load. It goes in quick. It's not, we're not blowing the cuticle out with tons of ammonia. It's just double the dye load, which is really good. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a nap, it's a neutral. So it's neutraling out the warmth. So it is a little darker. But again, this is for the client on the go. The, the client that has children at home, she's always rushing, rushing to the bus. Again, happy hour color, lunchtime color. You know, get get a, a, a little thing going on that you want your client in and out, in and out. You know? 